Coming up next, BMW's XM. Hey guys, Mark Savage here with Savage on Wheels. I got a BMW 738 horsepower, it's an M series. You're thinking, oh, what a great sedan coupe. Uh, it's a truck, baby. This thing is a monster. This is the XM, and it is big. It is like a three row, it's very much like the X7, same wheelbase and all that. But this is a two row SUV, plug in hybrid, and the elephant in the room, the price. $191,000 as it sits here, Paul. That's that's more than you make in a year, isn't it? Yeah, and then some. And then some, yeah. Uh, it's a nice looking vehicle, I think. It's sharp. It's all blacked out. You can't see it quite as well probably uh, in on the uh, video there, but this is a deep black. They call it uh, ruby black or black ruby, and it's got a lot of red in it. If the sun is just right, it, it really looks sparkly and cool. That's nice. You know, of course, they got to black out the grill part. Paul. Yeah, it kind of looked like Darth Vader when yeah, I first it. Yeah, it looks a little like Darth Vader, but at night, guess what this does? It all lights it up. It all lights up. So when well, it's of course behind it does. you, I've got, I'm the guy with the attitude right behind yeah. you, glowing. Uh, obviously, a little air in there. We got some little air ducts here. That's nice. Air ducts down here. Going to cool it all down because there's a lot of power in this thing. You got racy looking tires. Look at that. Holy cow. 22 inches. Low uh, profile. Yeah. Low profile. Yokohama. Those are going to uh, cost you a little bit to fix those. It is the plug in hybrid. Here's where you plug it in. I like these on the side instead of in the back someplace because it's easier to plug into my garage. <laughs> anyway, uh, you plug it in overnight. I got about uh, probably 15 miles per, you know, of charge overnight. That's nice. Uh, you can get 31 as your maximum on this. Let's just take a quick look inside here, Paul, while we're doing this, because we got we got red trim everywhere, red stitching everywhere. We've got red on the seats. Look what I got in the back, Paul. Oh, an XM pillow. This oh, doesn't oh, look comfy. Oh, isn't that nice? Uh, yeah. Well, you can use. Wonder what that costs to replace. Yeah. Well, <laughs> probably more than you and I want to think about. And of course, you pull out. Put your magazines, you know, it's like you're on an aircraft. In fact, it's like a flight deck in there. Anyway, big vehicle, the gas is on the other side. We'll open the back for you here. We got quad pipes to help get a little bit of sound, right? And we'll, we'll, we can do that here in a minute. This is the bag they give you to put <laughs> your charger in. It's like, this is nicer than any suitcase like I got at home. like a coach purse or something. Yeah, look at that. That's nice. But it's also strapped in so somebody can't just grab it and pull oh. it right, right out of there. Anyway, there's a lot of room to put stuff back here because, like I say, if you had an X7, then you would have a third row seat in here, right? Anyway, punch the button and, of course, there it goes. But we'll start it up for you. We'll show you everything, how it works inside, what it looks like. we got very fancy lights back here. We do have a big, big glassy back window, so that's nice. Uh, I think it looks sharp. Again, Paul, fancy, fancy, fancy interior. The, you know, the red and black seats, the red uh, stitching and all that, kind of this brushed metal all around. If this looks like carbon fiber, you would think it probably really is for the price tag of this thing. Uh, but it's got the blue and red that M always mm -hmm. has, all the M's yeah. have. We have the blue and red stitching here. We got the blue and red stitching on the shifter. Uh, there's, it's on the back seats there too. So, you know, all very snazzy. We got kind of a little bit of a curved giant screen, of course, two in one. Here, look at all this I can adjust here, Paul. I'm gonna hit, just so we can see this drivetrain. We got comfort, sport, sport plus, uh, minimum or maximum energy recovery. And the chassis is all the same. You can sport, you can get it so it's super fast. I've got it all in comfort mode, but uh, we'll tell you about it when we get out on the road. But the comfort mode is not quite as soft and comfy as one might assume. Obviously, everything else, punch buttons here. I can give you a heated and cooled seat, Paul. You want a little air coming out? Oh, baby, look at that. That's nice. Oh. Ooh, whoops, I hit the wrong one. I don't need heat today. Get rid of the heat, Mark. Yeah. Anyway, very fancy there. Uh, we got a phone charger down underneath here. We can punch, pull this back, cover that. That looks really smart. I don't know if you can see it, Paul. Oh yeah. We got purple uh, accent lighting down here. And look overhead, Paul. This looks like we got a sunroof up here, but it is not a sunroof. It does not move at all. Uh, you know, you have to go back to the X7 or something like that. 
but we've got this purple trim all around the edges mm -hmm. here, accent lighting. This is like a party bus, you know? A party bus for five. It's just missing a disco ball. <laughs> We need a disco ball, like on, like like uh, hanging in the back there yeah. and rotating. That'd yeah, be, that would be cool. Uh huh. So uh, not a flat bottom wheel, but of course it's an M wheel. So here I'm going to just pull up a little bit here so I can turn it, Paul, and get it straightened around for you. Of course, paddle shifters behind the uh, steering wheel here. We got all sorts of buttons here, which is you know kind of standard these days, but not a flat bottom wheel. What the heck's going on with uh, that? A beamer. Yeah. But we got red air vents, look at that. Kind of a reddish orange, that's kind of cool. Of course, a couple seat memory. And, uh, you know, let's go back here to home and show you. We got, you know, we got, of course, music. We can dial in all sorts of different channels because we got satellite. We got the map that we can call up. We can, it can do just about anything we would want here. Uh, but for 191 grand, well, it starts at 186 or so, so oh, it's not, you know, okay. you don't have to load it up. No. This is this is the label edition, yeah. which is the top of the line that, you know, you can you can start a little lower. Anyway, we'll take it out on the highway and show you what it'll do because it's got 738 horsepower and the same torque if you got the gas and the electric working together. All right, we're going to blast onto the highway here. Let's see what we can do. Wow. Wow. Had there not been traffic, well, that yeah. would have been over yeah. a buck easy. That would have been over a buck easy. A buck and some change. Yeah. yeah. And again, we're getting electric power and gasoline power from a twin turbo V8 engine. So power is not a problem here. Uh, and handling it is, is pretty good considering it's a giant vehicle. I mean, you know, this has got a 122 inch wheelbase, Paul. So this is like, you know, what driving a, a Suburban or, or a, a big pickup truck. So uh, there's lots of size here and you're moving over 6,000 pounds. So, uh, you know, it's amazing. I guess uh, I looked at uh, car and driver's numbers on this and they're like 3.5 seconds from zero to 60. Uh, and you know, that's something you expect from a, at least a sports sedan with a, you know, a big engine in it. Right. So, you know, it'll get up and go. That's not the problem. To me, the ride is the problem uh, considering the price tag and the fact that, as we said earlier, Paul, we are on, I mean, I got so many buttons to push here. We're on the comfort mode. Comfort, comfort, comfort. All of this is, you know, to make it as smooth and quiet and comfortable as possible, yet it's a pretty stiff ride. Yeah, this uh, is a ride I'd expect out of one of their sedans, you know. Yeah, yeah like out or of one of their cars. Out of a three or five series. Yep. If you were in sport mode. Yeah. You know, man, but yeah, this is uh, this is tight. One thing we noticed while we were driving here is that this was blue before. Yeah, the and accent lighting red. Yeah. And now it's uh, now it's red overhead. Red overhead. We have not. I, I've driven this for almost a week now, and I've not noticed it being anything other than purple. So I'm not sure how it changed or whether it changes itself. There's probably a way we can adjust the color, you know, and then pick whatever color we want. But it's just kind of funny that all of a sudden, boom, it's changed into a uh, a red. Here's uh, the shot from the front. There's the uh, real glowing white. There's a cool Corvette going by. So Paul, I mean, XM is extreme motoring, I guess. Uh, the XM is, at the base level, is about $160,000. This one starts at 186, goes up to 191, almost 192. I mean, that's outside of any realm that I can think of. I guess, a, what, a Lamborghini Urus, maybe? Uh, a Porsche Cayenne or something like that. Brand new Corvette. Yeah. Well, I said, you know, what I, you know, you could buy the X7 that we drove and loved not that long ago. It was like 105. You could do this and a Corvette. Just a thought. But if you have a lot of money and you want to buy a giant SUV, this will do it for you. Plug-in hybrid. It's uh, very comfortable inside.
Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.